excited also to see who's in what color. Of course, in true fashion, I did get the teams the wrong way around, and Stay Fresh needs to be to the left side. We're very sure. <laughs> okay, let's go into our first match of the third place tiebreaker. Rise already with the kickoff win. Blau putting the shot off the backboard. Here we go. Offense already demo on the net. Look at this outstanding pressure right now out of the off the bat by Ruthless Unity. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm already impressed by how quick this match has started. I, I did not expect this quick of a start. I just Such a slow match create um match game lobby creation and yet such a <laughs> quick start to the game. <laughs> They're making up for lost time it seems. Here we go, Swift down the field. Isn't able to win the 50. But now it's up to Rias. Rias, he, he managed, he just goes for the car this time. Trying to throw off him, the other team here, if they've been watching the stream. Blau now off the corner. Free shot for Ducks if she can. And that's goal. That's a block by Swift. Yeah, it, um, it just goes the whole way around, like you called it ping pong. It's just both teams are looking really good, looking for the 25 euro third place. Yeah. So far, Team Ruthless Unity with all the pressure. So, um, but, oh, Blau hits the ball towards the backboard. Envoy with a great shot. Let's look at this on the replay once again. That was a very impressive on angle. Excuse me. Look at that shot. Easy read, easy side flip into the goal. He knows that he can do it and he will continue to do it. So even though Team Stay Fresh has been on defense the entire time, only one opportunity was needed for them to score. Ruthless Unity and Chet as well with a nice shot. Dex passes it middle over to Blau. Jazzy managed to managed to get back to the ball. Double commit and Rias hits the ball towards the backboard. Rias still on the ball, but Swift manages to get gain control. Now it's over to Dex. Ball gets clear towards the backboard. Now it's going to be a free shot for Swift. So much pressure for Ruthless Unity, but yet again, um, stay fresh. One chance on offense, and they score. And I got to say, the good defense that we saw last game from um, Ruthless Unity has not come over yet. They are, they have to warm up, it seems. Yes, yeah, so this, this did have to happen. They did get scored on a lot in their very first game um, against Revenge GG. But uh, then they came back and, well, Rias definitely came back and he was definitely a one-man army in it. But so far, if we're just noticing a lot of um, over-committing. Like, if you remember G2 in Season 8 of RLCS where they um, almost got relegated, a lot of what they did was they'd send everybody on offense, get blocked by a really good defense, and then they would just get scored on. And if we're noticing, this is happening over and over again. They're just getting beat to the ball. Yeah, it does seem like a slow start for uh, Ruthless Unity in this uh, for this right now. And that's quite a shame, because the team did really well last time. They had such a strong start, and ho maybe those first two goals completely destroyed their um, motivation, at least just for the moment, because getting scored on three times in a row after having all that pressure and scoring zero goals, that's going to ruin your mentality. I don't know how about yourself, but I do feel like Ruthless Unity can mean something in this match and will come back later on. Maybe not in this game, but the next, the series definitely. Yes. Oh my, almost a straight shot on target by Blau. Blau now passes back to Dex. Dex tries to pass it over to Rise, but Envoy actually misses the interception. But that's going to be a double tap there from Team Stay Fresh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just looking very good from Stay Fresh. I don't know if... If a uh, Unity has to wake up again, or if, if they just not allowed to do anything by uh, Stay Fresh. Blau hits it across over to Dex. Dex intercepts it now with the flip reset. Gets a second one and saved away by Envoy. Almost getting the du double flip reset there. Mm. Rias intercepts it, gets another block on the board. Blau leaves it for Dex a challenge. They pass it over to Blau. Blau. Hits the ball on target. That's going to be the first goal on the board for Team Ruthless Unity. Might this be the start of the comeback? We saw a great 3-0 comeback into a 6-3 lead in the last series, so maybe we can see it again. Lip were down 3-0 after getting scored on th um, in the first game, and then they came back and won the series 6-3. So maybe we're seeing something similar. 
a fun fact, it was also Stay Fresh that did score the three goals, right? Yes, it was Stay, it was, um, stay Fresh who um, scored those three goals and got um, come back against. And we're already looking at a lot of pressure right now from Team Ruthless Unity, and they're looking back in control. In your professional opinion, if they would get come back on from a 3 0 twice in two series, how much would that do for their mental state? Um, for my personal mental state, I wouldn't be too affected, but I know the teammates I've played with in the past, they would be greatly affected. Rise is a great pre flip save. The defense from this person is just amazing. Here comes Blau. Hits the ball to the side. Rise tries to intercept him, but Jazzy clears them all down the field. Envoy. Envoy really seemed to affect the mentality of, um, hold on. Duck almost, Duck's almost getting a shot, a great flick on target. Rise wasn't able to intercept it, but Blau manages to get a block and bumps Jazzy, but Jazzy still maintains, and pos maintains possession. Yeah. I'm okay, it looks like Team Ruthless Unity are going to have to score here if they want to tie up the game. I was just about to Passed say the over to Rias, shot on target, and saved away by Swift. With 10 second left, uh, seconds left, it looks very dire for uh, Ruthless Unity. True. As Envoy now with the air dribble, that's going to be the end of the game. First game goes to stay fresh. It just seems like Ruthless Unity... Um, just forgot a lot about um, just the uh, forgot about their defense in the first part of this game, as um, they were having so much offense, but then the other team just had one chance on one chance, and they scored. Look at that! Two shots from each player on um, stay on stay fresh, and they won. Whereas there was eleven shots for. Um, team ruthless unity and only one went in so they're not making the most out of their um oh they left the match it seems i'm thinking we're going in a technical i don't know if they're saying anything in chat yeah we're just gonna restart the match here all right we'll go back to the prb screen we'll leave the match and wait for I'll we'll create the private match again. Okay, make a new lobby. Just telling them that they can join again if you if they or want to play. I see. Okay, now Ruthless Unity are back in. <laughs> And it's back waiting on it. It's gonna go the whole way around. Uh, okay, there we go. Right away. Let's just get in. <laughs> <laughs> well. I should probably st tab in for sound, yes. Luckily, no goals were scored yet, so it won't affect it too much. Fake kickoff from Stay Fresh. They're seeming a lot more confident after that first win. Now back over to Blau. Blau hits the ball towards the sidewall. Now trying to win a 50-50, but cleared away by on. Sorry, not by Envoy. Envoy now with the actual clear. Jazzy almost getting the um, the extension, but now it's over to Rice. Rice didn't get the challenge. We saw a lot of him winning a lot of challenges previously, but now he seems to be getting beat to the ball. Yeah, I'm just. Watching, oh, Jazzy, was Jazzy in Batmobile the last game too? Um, I believe he wasn't. I believe he was on Dominus. Yes, I do think a card change happens. Which, personally, I kind of find weird after winning a match, but hey, they might have a plan. The Batmobile does something, if you can control the Batmobile in the right way, it can do a lot of things with the ball that in threes are usually isn't possible and it usually can help you out because um, the Batmobile is such a low hitbox that you can pretty much get the same power on a rolling shot that you can on a ground shot just because of how low the hitbox is. That does make sense. Here we go. Oh. Rise with the challenge. 
Managed to flick it over one, but Envoy double commits a swift. Here's a chance for Blau. Hits the ball towards the middle, but Jazzy manages to intercept it. Jazzy playing a great third man role there. But that's going to be a pass towards the middle. Rice with the shot. Great pass by Dex. Great goal by Rice. Ruthless Unity take the lead. It's impressive to see Rice after stepping up in defense for the whole last series, coming to the front and scoring the goal when they need it most. He scored a lot of goals last game as well. Um, just being able to... Not last game, but the last series as well. Like, after he got off of defense, he just seemed to always be in the right spot. He's not seeming to be in the right spot on defense as much in this series, but on offense, he's been there for every pass, and he's been making a lot of passes himself. Great pass there to Plow. Yeah, I mean, if he can, why not? He seems to be a really great player, and I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. Here you go, Envoy. Almost had a free shot on target, but Blau cleared it away. Now Blau hits the ball towards the middle over to Rise. Rise pops the ball towards the backboard. Envoy now. Didn't want to take possession, and now Dux also doesn't want to take possession, and now Swift will take control of the ball now. So far, it seems like we're back to ping pong, but here's Blau's chance for a shot. Blau gets the goal. We yeah. saw in the previous series that the team that stay fresh usually thrived when the ball was in ping pong mode, but this time we're seeing um, ruthless unity taking all the goals. It did also seem like like a really in control, like just the the contrast from the first game is immense. There you go, Swift clears the ball down the field. Demo by Jazzy, and that's just going to be an empty net for Swift. That's going to be a one-goal game here off of a great demo by Jazzy. Rias did not see the demo coming in at all. Probably He was probably wondering why Jazzy was on his side of the field to begin with. But a demo's a demo, and Swift gets a free goal. And it definitely worked out. Blau bumped on the kickoff by Jazzy. Maybe we're seeing him play the Batmobile just for the longer extension with his demos. Maybe, maybe. Because even though the breakout's the longest car, for threes, it's usually a weird pick. That is true. You don't see too many breakouts these days, huh? Dex receiving the pass from Blau may not be a double flip reset, but she could still score as we can see Dex with the goal. That double flip reset, she promised us. She did promise us before. Will we see it? Now that we're at the 3-1 lead, if she can just get any chance um, to do one, I'm, get, I'm guessing she will be able to do so. Gets the first one. Goes for the second. Isn't able to get it. Still a good try, though. As it's up to Rise Now Rise tri Blau tried to get to the ball. Now it's going to be Doug's last person back. It's going to be a shot chance for Envoy. That's going to be on target. 3-2 lead now for Ruthless Unity. But Jazzy doing a lot here. Passes the ball across. Manages to knock Ducks off her um, positioning. And giving um, en Envoy a free shot. This match is a lot closer. And it's actually really enjoyable to watch. Hopefully the Grand Finals is just as enjoyable to watch. Here comes Jazzy, hits the ball towards the corner. Now over to Envoy. Envoy, now it's up to Swift. Swift saved away by Ducks. Envoy passes it towards the middle over to Jazzy. Jazzy passes it back. That's going to be a shot on target. Great passing play from Team Stay Fresh. Yeah, That's that going to be a tied game. That was really impressive. That was great control there from Jazzy. Jazzy realizing he would probably hit the ball over the net, opted for the pass. It was just as safe and just as easy to make as Envoy has been putting great shots on target all series long. The question is, how will Ruthless Unity uh, respond, to the, respond to this? So far, it looks like with pressure, as Dex almost puts a shot through. Now it's up to Jazzy with no boost, gets a pass, Rise, and then actually manages to win the 50 against Blau. Envoy gets demoed by Dux, and this should allow for a power play here for a moment. Dux now with complete possession. Hits the ball down the field. Great doink, I think, by Rise. That's going to be a pass. Dux isn't able to put it on target. Rise now, last man back. He was a wall last series. Can he be it again? Yes, he is. Also something I see... Oh. Continue. Also something I see happening a lot more this game than last game is the bumping and demoing, and it's really upping the level of this gameplay. 
Yes, because people are removing people from positions, meaning rotations have to be cut, rotations have to be fixed, and overall, sometimes it could even mess up rotations. If you spawn right up where your teammate's trying to drive, that's going to ruin things. Well, I wasn't able to get the ball. Now Swift will take complete possession. Arias losing a 50-50 to Swift. Now Swift will take complete possession. Swift did start off this tournament on Octane, but it has still remained on Fennec since I believe game two of um, his last series. Ducks now hits the ball towards the backboard. Swift clears it over to Blau. Blau and Envoy, 50-50. Envoy gets an insane touch, but the ball does not go in at zero seconds. But there's another chance. Pass towards the middle. Onto the ground. We're seeing overtime. As a neutral, I cannot complain about an overtime between these two great teams, honestly. Honestly, that is true. Um, I, like, I, I'm hoping I see a game five overtime every game. I mean, Mike, the caster in me just wants to have as many, the smallest amount of games as possible. But the player in me wants to watch. I gotta agree there. I really do gotta agree. It's amazing. I gotta say, Ruthless Unity has been quite in jet. Maybe, maybe just they need more support from the organization and from the people that are support for them. So, we've had, um, of course, we've had orgs like Team Skyline, and then we've also had orgs um, like Havoc, um, who have sponsored this tournament. But seeing other orgs as well, just participating in this tournament, just trying to grow our tournament, make it a little bigger every day, and seeing such great gameplay coming out of these other orgs, it's always great. Yeah, it's great to see, honestly. And I hope Rootless Unity returns for maybe a, a next a next tournament, the next tournament, Euro Cup 2 or 3 or... They seem to be like a nice involved orc who actually cares about their players. I know Havoc is a mainly a North American org, but um, do, you, uh, do you remember if Team Skyline is? Uh, is that European? I don't think Team Skyline has a roster, but like I know the owner is American. Okay. I do think Skyline would maybe compete in this tournament if they had an active roster at this moment, but... If they are American, probably not. We're seeing both teams play a lot safer. More like controlled ping pong at the moment. Controlled ping pong. Gotta explain it. Controlled ping pong. Like, it's watching. Like, have you ever watched two pros in ping pong? Uh, as we say that, Blau <laughs> getting the stuff, getting the goal, and Team Ruthless Unity tie up the series. Yeah, and very nice play as well. Just solid, continuously, no, not making any mistakes. Ruthless Unity get their first seri first game win. I mean, they've already had a series win before, but now they get their first game win in the top four. I hope so. It would, it would be rare to see them in the third place playoff if they haven't won a series yet. I mean, I mean, I guess it's possible that they just get their way through through forfeits, but it would be very unfortunate and small story before this game starts i wasn't able to make a RL, uh, rlrs qualifier once and we had to play our sub and they managed to get all the way to the loser semifinals just off of um forfeits that is interesting that is wait how that can happen actually if you sign up i would expect you to be ready or interested unless something last minute comes but yeah Dex doing a lot more already. She's um done a musty to try to get the ball center, and she's also gotten a demo already. So, but here we go, Envoy with the solo play, and Jazzy managing to stuff the ball on the goal. Look at this solo control right here, Envoy hitting the ball off the corner and then pre-flipping the ball into the net. The ball looked like it bounced out off the post somehow, but Jazzy was there to finish it. Um, I'm seeing in chat someone asking how much is this? This is the best of five, so the first to win three games. Tree, I guess we can tell you're European. Why? Can't pronounce the TH sound. I'm not even English. <laughs> Here comes Rice. Rice wasn't able to win the 50. Now Envoy takes control. Envoy really putting in uh, putting in a number for his um, against the other team. Now Jazzy taking his time. Pops it past um, Blau. 
and he passes it over, almost gets the musty over Rise, but Rise takes complete control. Rise gets it past Envoy, but gets bumped. Now Ducks gets bumped, and now Swift trying to apply some pressure here on offense. I gotta say, I'm super impressed with like all the demo and bumping plays. It just, it really makes uh, the defense worry. Like you can see on mostly before Ruthless Unity, they have to avoid and save. That is true. I mean, Dex has gotten a few bumps and demos, but their her teammates haven't been able to at least trust them enough to be able to make an offensive play out of them. Um, I gotta mention there was just a little lag spike on the tournament. I think it was only for us. I don't think the players actually. I felt it. I mean, I didn't feel it. <laughs> See, I was just for the screen. I apologize for that. Here comes Dex. Dex manages to win the 50 over to Blau. Blau runs out of boost and now has to leave it for right for Rias. And he hits it down the field. Great save by Envoy. Envoy is carrying his team right now. Here we go, Dex clearing the ball down the field. Off to the corner and um, Jazzy clears the ball with the Batmobile. Almost getting a Cuxer like air dribble. The one where I believe he was in a 1v1, I believe he can scrub kill him. And he um, pre-flipped into an air dribble um, from the ground. And we almost saw that in the Batmobile from Jazzy. That would have been a great recollection moment. Maybe some inspiration was taken from Cuxer at that moment. Who knows? Here we go, Envoy with the second goal of the game. Let's look at this once again. Swift off the ceiling. And Envoy with a great redirect on target. I didn't see it originally. Envoy does seem to be like a very prolific goal scorer. And I just wonder how Ruthless Unity is going to deal with this. comes Dex with the fake and isn't able to get it past Swift. Swift has also has really been um, solid on the goal line, especially in 1v1 situations. Here we go, Dex. Hits the ball forward. Now over to F Rice. Rice. Who leaves it for Blau. Blau hits the ball up the field. Now Dex takes control. She pops the ball forward. Now over to Jazzy. Now over to Dex. Rice isn't able to pop the ball, but Swift pops the ball for them, but Envoy is there to clear the ball away. Envoy really just cleaning up the game here. That's the good thing about threes. You just need one really solid player, and then a third can only have to play decent, and their team can still win. The demo from Swift one... again just yeah. throws off the whole Root of Unity defense. It's impressive. So far, just doing really well is um, Team Stay Fresh already winning 3-0, to zero, even though it seems like Ruthless Unity mechanically are a way better team. It seems like Envoy is just popping off um, more than anyone else right now. I mean, they can be a way better team, they just can't deal with the, the demo and bunkum play. They're just outmatched on that part, They're, and they don't know how to react. Yeah, they need to learn how to adapt. The best teams in Rocket League are able to adapt and change mid-game, and even the semi-pros um, are able to adapt mid-series. So hopefully we can see um, these teams, even though they're not any of the teams you guys may know and love from the RLCS, even though hopefully we may see them there soon, um, they aren't um, adapting to the new demo playstyle. Yeah, and I gotta say, if Team, team Stay Fresh plays this well in like the qualifiers, who knows, maybe we will see him in RLCSX. Blau, with a great touch there, setting it up for Dex, and she easily puts that ball in. She's been putting in great shots all game, all series. Rice pops the ball, loses the kickoff, but Envoy actually misses, that's a change. But now over to the backward, Rice taking his time. Going for the air dribble pass over and it gets off the post. That would have been an amazing play there. But now the ball pops out and Ducks passes the ball back. Blau's gonna have to take this on to offense really quickly here. He gets red though by Jazzy. Ducks passes the ball over to the right. 
Rias isn't able to follow this up for the double tap. Swift it doesn't get a touch. Duck can't put a strong shot on target, and it looks like this game is over. As now we're going to be seeing a 2-1 lead for Stay Fresh. They're keeping it up. Oh, they dragged their own goal, but they unfortunately could not do it. Envoy still playing really solid. Jazzy left the match, so maybe he's changing cars. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'll need to sub in real quick with my 160 ping. Let's not do that. We, we like you as a caster. As a player, you're, you're not that good. Not that good. <laughs> Don't worry, we're teasing. I, 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 I beat Squishy and Miho, who were party together in two. So how dare you? No comments. How dare you? Okay, it looks like he's joined back. We can already up. Um, let's see if Team um, Ruthless Unity can come back, or will Stay Fresh close out the series and grab the prize pool, or at least the third place prize pool. Yeah. Um, oh, Ruthless Unity in the chat with the support for their team. You can still do it and a Purple Heart. We're going to need a Purple Heart after this if they keep getting demoed. But here comes Dex, almost getting the double tap. Pass over from Blau, but Ryze didn't trust the pass and stayed back. You'll notice this a lot from teams um, sometimes where, like, usually... Um, if they are losing or in a situation where they can lose a series, they will not be um, w as willing to send up their third man in order to receive passes. And after that first game where they kept getting scored on just off of counterattacks due to their third man being upfield, I think that would make it even um, more likely that they won't send that third man for a pass. Jazzy on, I believe that's the backfire? Could possibly be. That... It's very much could be, yes. You just gotta wonder, if you see these teams clashing together and like how hard Stay Fresh got like come back on by Lip at the first game. Does this spell anything for the Grand Final already? Um, you know, I'm not too sure. Because Revenge, um, they are according to seeding and rank. I checked the ranks before I started casting. Um, they should be... Um, Revenge should be able to take this whole tournament pretty cleanly. But just based on the fact that um, Stay Fresh are doing so well and clean against Ruthless Unity when Revenge almost got reverse swept by them, it shows a, um, it shows a lot about this tournament. Especially with Jazzy with the backfire just easily putting a ball into the top corner. Yeah, I, I can see where you're and you're coming from. Ooh, okay, <laughs> was a fake. Jazzy putting another shot on target. Lee RL in chat saying, "Hurry up and win Swift, so um, so we can play Valorant." Play Valorant. Very conveniently, the app, the ad of the game. So, what do you think of classics, the um, ra old Rocket League pro going pro in Valorant? Did classics go pro in Valorant? He's going pro in Valorant, oh. or trying to. I've not heard of that actually. It's interesting. This is um, the third place tiebreaker. So whoever wins this gets third place and the third place prize pool. And then after this, we'll go to the finals for first and second place. The finals will be between Lip and Revenge GG. So stay tuned for that one. But first, stay fresh versus Ruthless Unity, game four. Ruthless Unity, they've shown signs of brilliance with their passes. They just need to be able to connect two more times. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in. We got a, almost got a, I think this is our max, the max amount of viewers we've gotten so far, um, or close to it. So thank you everybody for showing up as we see a great flick, but Rias, the wall is back. And let's see if he can show up and win this series. Um, and did I send the chat somebody asking, is the Grand Finals BO5? It is a BO5 since we were not exactly sure how this all would work out, since we're, all of us are quite new to this scene. In the future, we will be looking for a best of seven finals. 
and especially if I have to cast all the games, if I have to cast a best of seven after all these amazing games, I don't know if my voice would survive. That is also true. We only have one play-by-play -play caster at this moment, and it is our party head here, Brian, or Luke. I, I, in the Rock League community, I'm referred to by Luke. How dare you? Just because my Discord is never changing. Dex pops the ball forward into the middle. Now Blau puts a shot on target off the crossbar, but Rias wasn't wasn't ready for that. Rias has been really good at predicting where the ball's going to be going for the last two series he's been in. But this series, it seems like it's um, gone. It might be the nerves getting to him. Here comes Dex with the flip reset. I wasn't able to get it. But now it goes into the middle. Rias wasn't able to put it forward. Now Blau wins the ball towards the middle. Dex probably could have turned on that and had a good shot, but leave, left it for Rias, who wasn't able to get there in time. Now it's up to Blau. A question for you. Do you see this turning around and Ruthless Unity coming back to win this game and series, maybe? I really see the possibility of it. Like, it's very, very possible. All three players are really solid, but it seems like either nerves or something else is really stopping them from putting shots on target. Rise with a high hit there. Shot on target. Blau manages to score the goal. Now, here's the chance they needed. 37 seconds to tie the game. More than enough time for a single or even two goals to win the game and before overtime. But will they and, do it? And um, Ruthless Unity actually won the overtime. So, And they actually won two of the three overtimes they had against Revenge GG. So they are really looking to get this into overtime. If they were them. If I were them. Blau, pass it over to the middle. Rias, is he able to get there? No. And Swift, actually, oh, Rias managed to get possession again. That's going to be a double commit for um, Team Stay Fresh. But they managed to get, but Ducks manages to recover. Demo on Rias. He is. Rias spawns in a great place, but it goes straight to Swift. Swift isn't able to put it on target. Five seconds left to tie the game. Are we going to see another zero second goal? The ball will touch it. It's in the air still, but it gets intercepted by Jazzy. And the ball is about to touch the ground. We caught our third place and fourth place teams. Congratulations to Stay Fresh for getting the third place prize pool. Prize pool. Congratulations on winning third place on our first tournament. And uh, also congr congratulations for Sir Ruthless Unity to actually just come here and make top four. It's very impressive still. There were a lot of good teams that played.